Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Fun and games. This is my very special cupcake recipe using flour, honey, milk, chocolate and an apple. Yummy! <laughs> now we add an egg. <laughs> wow, Mum! We give it a little stir. OK. Splish, splash, splosh, splosh. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Holly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping Mum make cakes. Ooh, can I help? Fairies are good at making cakes. Of course, Princess Holly. You can help with the stirring. That's my favourite bit. Splashing and sploshing the cake mixture. <laughs> I'd like more stirring and less splashing and sploshing, please. <laughs> <laughs> Splish, splash, splosh, splush. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should do the stirring. OK, Mrs Elf. Very good stirring, Holly. It could have been a bit more splashy. <laughs> Next, we put the mixture into the cake tin. It looks really yummy. Mmm, can we have one now? Sorry, Ben, I have to bake them in the oven first. Oh, can't we just cook them with magic? <laughs> These are elf cakes baked without magic. But magic can bake them really quick. I'll show you. No thanks, Holly. Remember, elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Are the cakes ready yet? <laughs> they haven't even started cooking. Oh, maybe Holly should use a bit of magic. I think a better idea would be if you two played outside for a bit and I call you in when the cakes are ready. Oh, do we have to? Just think of some fun games to play. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. <laughs> Have fun! I wish those cakes didn't take so long to bake. Me too. I suppose we might as well try playing a game. OK. How about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> You're running too fast! I can't help it! Elves are good at running fast and I'm an elf! <laughs> it's not fair! Fairies can't run as fast as elves! OK, I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me! <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you! <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a new game. Yes, hide and seek. OK, we'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK, 
No flying. One, two, three. No looking. OK. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> hmm, Ben's quite well hidden. Not there. Hmm, not there either. Hmm, Ben, give me a clue. Please. You're very cold. <laughs> Getting colder. Oh. Warmer. <laughs> Hot. Hotter and hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Found you. Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, oh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am! <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Good hiding place, eh, Holly? It was OK, I suppose. Elves always hide well, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> My turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben said no flying, but he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? <coughs> no, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abcrack a dibbly dibble, make me invisible. <laughs> Coming, ready or not. Hmm, very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh. How did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. 
Boom. Ta-da! <laughs> 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 Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy Sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. <laughs> It's a charming idea, and I've joined in the game before, but let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. Here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm. <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. <laughs> Me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes. Look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy's our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? 
Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me. But obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry. She won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits, elves, fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit... Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle. Quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. Bye. Bye.
There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs>